I'm civil. I'm keeping my temper. I'm not making this ugly. I'm sticking to eye statements, and I'm handling this quite well. I'm only shaking a little bit. I'm modulating my voice very nicely. So nicely when I say, fuck you. What I want to say is, you should know. You should give me a list of your friends, alphabetized. And what I mean to say is, how is it that you can keep hurting me now? Now, now that you've left my life or been kicked out, since that's what you say I did. But we both know the truth, don't we? And what I want to say is, you don't own me. You don't live here anymore. Not in this house of my heart, not this block, not this neighborhood, not this continent. But what I say is, fuck you. What I mean, you should hand me a list of all your friends alphabetized, and I will fuck every single one of them, so you can feel how I feel. But I don't say this at all, since I'm calm, I'm civil, even what I mean is, I remember that you whispered things to me, and they were sweet things you whispered, not fuck you. And when I say it, I mean it like a roar, but it comes out like a whisper, a stutter, a shudder, a shudder, and a house I'm shut in the heart where you don't live. Not like your house, where if you handed me a list of all your friends, alphabetized, I'd fuck every single one of them on your bed, one by one in order. Your room's so small, it would be crowded. Your house is so small. It's like a house, only smaller. <laughs> Do your friends laugh at you in your small house? Why, it looks like a tornado fell on it, like I fell for you. And I'll send you photos of your friends and I fucking one by one, two by two, on your blankets and pillowcases, where you watch how we fuck on your duvet, and just for good measure, we'll rub our naked bodies on your mattress pad. Because that's what I mean when I say fuck you. And I never told you I make fun of your ex for being ugly. I feel bad now. I really should apologize to her, except she never knew. And she never knew how bad your taste in women was. Until you met me. Maybe you've got a thing for ugly girls. Maybe you think you can get farther with ugly girls. So fuck you if that's how you feel about women. And fuck you for making me ugly. And fuck you for not having boundaries like walls in a house that's a heart divided upon itself. That cannot stand the sight of you. But I look you in the eye. But I keep my voice soft. I keep to eye statements like I think, I feel, I shake, I murder, I ruin. I mean to say, I mean to take. I take back the day of the petting zoo when everything went one by one, went two by two. And I take back the sex under the bridge and all the water there too. And I take the back the time I told you those jeans made your ass look sexy. <laughs> and I say fuck you, but not fuck like sex, but fuck like rub your nose into every stupid thing you've ever done till the master's very small house has been ruined by the mistress's big tool. And fuck you is what I say, what I want to yell, but I'm so very calm. I'm calm. I don't raise my voice. I don't stop shaking. I've got the names of your friends, fucker. And fuck you. Just fuck you. But you don't say one goddamn thing.